Hello, Rush back here again, and uh, today I'm going to be giving myself, or giving you rather, a uh, a gun review of the MPL. Now, like I say, pretty much everyone's getting bored of Black Ops. I mean, I'm personally loving it right now. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm loving playing Black Ops right now. Can't really explain that to be honest. But um, the vast majority of people, my friends, I say 95% of my friends list are already can't wait for Modern Warfare 3. And you got to think, Modern Warfare 3 doesn't come out for another five months, meaning Black Ops is only really halfway through its cycle. Of uh, what is a year lifespan before a new game comes out. So, more, pretty much most people become bored of it because it's not quite as fast paced and exciting as Modern Warfare 2. Uh, that was the main reason why uh, people. They didn't like Modern Warfare 2 in ways because of like one man army uh, grenade launches and uh, just UMP Marathon Lightweight and Commando and everything like that. This made the game frustrating, but more people like to play that game because it was a bit more fast paced and a bit more exciting and there was more variety in guns because all the guns are very similar. But uh, Black Ops is it's a, it's a lot more balanced. I mean, pretty much everything in this game is perfectly balanced. There's nothing really super overpowered other than maybe it's like Ghost and like Last Stand. Those two things are incredibly annoying. But uh, Black Ops is a great game and uh, I don't understand why people get so bored with it. I think I've got a theory that most people do the same thing. So you may be say, playing the same game mode, you may be using the same gun. You just need to switch it up, and this is exactly what the sort of gun is. So I can guarantee that 85% of the people watching this have probably not even got 100 kills with this MPL. I don't understand why. I, I, I always like to uh, recommend using new guns. A lot of people get bored because, even myself, uh, I'm always using, like say, for example, the FAMAS or the Spectre. They're pretty much the two weapons that I like to use. Because uh, when you get comfortable with a weapon, you don't really want to switch out. So if I'm using the FAMAS, I've been using it for... How many kills have I got with it now? Like 8,000 kills or something? Probably even more than that. And uh, I'll check now. <clears throat> Let's go on to my combat record. Yeah, I've got 7,000 kills with the uh, FAMAS. Which is much, much higher than all the rest of them. And the second one is the AK-74U. So they're the two guns I like to use a lot. And uh, how often do I really switch them out? For like something like the Commando and things like that? Not very often, if I'm honest. And uh, I fall into the same trap as everyone else. So you, you get comfortable with a weapon, you stick with it, because you know, like for example, you understand the recoil, you understand how long it takes to kill someone. And generally, when you're using that weapon, i.e. me with the FAMAS, I'm just doing much better that weapon, because I understand what's going on. But of course, when you're using the same weapon, you're playing the same game modes, you get bored, because it becomes tedious and monotonous, because you're always doing the same thing. And uh, the variety and... Uh, fast-paced nature of Call of Duty maybe start, start to become uh, quite boring. So I've not really gone into review, but this is me pretty much saying uh, try different guns, try maybe playing different game modes. If you're getting bored with Black Ops, perhaps play some free-for-all, play some more wager matches. But wager matches are such a good laugh, especially when you play with like high roller wager match and you're playing sticks and stones. You have a right fun time in there and it's, it really is very good, guys. I know it might be sounding a bit, a bit weird, but I'm just trying, tr just trying to help you guys um, understand why Black Ops is still a brilliant game. Black Ops in terms of Publix, uh, not, in, not on a competitive level, but Black Ops in terms of Publix is easily the best game that's ever, ever been made. It's much better than all the rest. You may disagree with me, but it really is. Anyway, let's uh, go over the MPL. Kind of half of the video, I know we spoke about it. But the MPL to me is exactly the same as the FAMAS. Not the FAMAS? What? <laughs> no, exactly the same as the Spectre. Um, they're both have exactly the same power ra uh, ratings. It's a 3 to 4 bullet kill close range, and um, well, no, I think it's the 3 bullet kill close range, and a 5 bullet kill long range. So with this in mind, you want to keep in a very close range scenario. You never want to be long range, because you will not win very many. You may win half of them, and if it's a fair fight between you and a FAMAS, you will barely ever win across a mid to long range. So you want to keep this weapon close range, so with that in mind, I'm playing Hanoi here, and, I'm, and I've kept myself not out in the open, I've not gone to mid, I've not gone spotlight. If you didn't know what those callouts are, learn them. <laughs> But uh, in this building here, I'm in theatre, and this is exactly where you want to be with a submachine gun like this. I'm using a silencer, which is a very good attachment for this thing. Um, rapid fire is another good recommendation, because when you use rapid fire, you may be thinking, well, you're just going to go for ammo even quicker, which is true. But uh, when you use rapid fire and you have a good shot, the, the gun almost turns into a shotgun, because they die so incredibly quickly. It is almost like shotgun level of uh, killing someone that quickly. So I highly recommend, I'll have to say highly all the time, but still... Uh, I highly recommend using this gun. If you're the sort of person who likes to use the Spectre, I know the Spectre is becoming more and more popular, especially because some of the MLG pros used it in the last uh, last event. Uh, I've always liked the Spectre. It's a great gun. 
And uh, this is basically, in my uh, in my eyes and in my hands, exactly the same as the Spectre in terms of how it feels, how quickly people die, and the way the gun reacts. So think of this as a Spectre, just with a different look to it, so a different skin to the gun. And uh, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this gun. Um, I'm going to give it a rush rating of 80 out of 100, so that's 8 out of 10. Purely because, of course, this is a good gun, like I keep saying, but it's only good close range. Long range, you really will be struggling, and of course, the iron sights aren't to everyone's taste. The iron sights are quite, there is quite a lot going on with the iron sights, which isn't uh, something that everyone likes. But to me, it really just takes you to adapt, and I get the winning kill. Well, that wasn't me, but I was using the M14 in that game as well. But uh, anyway, so this gameplay was a 46 and 2. I stayed in the theatre. I highly recommend doing that if you're going to be using a submachine gun. But until next time, peace.